Good morning, Waddle Nation, and welcome to Minecraft Guide 1 plus 6 plus 3. That's 10 quick maths. Today, the great upgrade continues. We've made a lot of really, really solid progress over the past few episodes. Good armor, good tools, uh, lots of stuff done all over the place. Today's episode is all about the stronghold. Yes, 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 finally the stronghold. After today's episode, we are, well, depending on how you look at it, basically done with a great upgrade. Today's episode is the official stronghold hunting guide for worlds where you've already found one stronghold. Except for legal reasons, I don't think I can actually call it the official one, but uh, we'll go with it. All right, all right, obnoxious, stop it with the door, that's my door. I ask for forgiveness, truly you could consider it absolutely uncool of me to consider doing it any other way, uh, other than the way we're gonna do it today. So if you heard what I said about the stronghold not finding one last episode, uh, no, no, th that was a fabrication of your mind, it's not real, go back to the video, it doesn't exist there. Hey, if you've never left a like on today's video, it is literally the perfect opportunity to change that. If you've been leaving a like, nice work. Keep it up. In today's episode, we're going to hunt this world for a brand new stronghold. If you're doing this in your world, I highly recommend having half a stack of ender pearls ready to go. If you end up hunting for more than just the second stronghold, then you're going to need even more for Eye of Ender. When it comes to ender pearls, we have a little bit over half a stack. When it comes to blaze rods, I'm a little bit short. So hopefully I can make it work with like 22 Eye of Ender. Hopefully. Eye of Ender. Whether you found one stronghold in your world or like four of them, Eye of Ender. It always starts there. After that, it's to the nether for us. Oi, 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 oi. What are you doing? Go away. So if you didn't know, as long as you're not playing some ancient version of the game, like PlayStation 3, there's actually more than one stronghold in your world. Minecraft Java, Minecraft Bedrock, they're a little bit different, so the mechanics are slightly different. Today we're focusing on Java Edition because that's what I play on. So yeah, there's actually more than one stronghold in your world. On Java, every single world as long as everything generated correctly, has 128 strongholds. Uh, that's a lot. Today, as it stands, this world is pretty old. We're on day 1,891. Uh, this is the first time I checked that in a long time. I didn't think it would be that high, but yeah, it's a really, really old world. Earlier on in this world, if you can remember, we actually located a stronghold. It is crazy close. In fact, it is so close that I miss it every single time. Uh, it's right over here, like I could practically turn these into one nether hub. Stronghold portal. Minecraft Java, current version 1.17 and up. 128 strongholds in the world. Truly somewhat absurd. I don't know realistically if you would ever need all 128, but there's 128 and you could find them all if you wanted to. It'll take a long time. Now strongholds generate in a little bit of a pattern. Uh, if you imagine this blue dot as 0, 0, the first stronghold that you find in your world should be anywhere between 1,280 blocks from 0, 0 to 2,816 blocks. Now, I found my stronghold a long time ago. Like, honestly, I think it was like episode 16 or something, but we have one stronghold in the world. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. I reset these chunks completely. I forgot about that. All right, well, anyways, the first stronghold that I found in this world should be somewhere near those numbers that I was just talking about, that first ring. Let's check it. Negative 937, 1084, 1280, 2816. Now keep in mind that these numbers could be positive or negative. It's a ring all the way around zero, zero. We get close, like pretty close. We're not quite inside of that ring, negative 937, 1084, but we're pretty close, so that makes sense. Now let's say the first stronghold that we found is this stronghold right here approximately 120 degrees away from the stronghold there should be another stronghold and then approximately 120 degrees away from those there should be another one inside of each stronghold generation ring the strongholds will be approximately evenly spaced not exactly but about so the first ring of strongholds is somewhere in between this range or close to it then we skip a bunch of blocks and go up to this range right here the next range is going to have six strongholds inside of this ring so it expands go even further out we have this range right here 10 strongholds and so on and so on and so on and so on going insanely far out from spawn all the way out to 25,000 blocks from spawn if you're actually going to hunt for all of these uh big props to you you're like dedicated i would never do that uh but go you you're great. If you're looking for multiple strongholds inside of your world, step one is definitely finding a stronghold. Find your first stronghold and get the coordinates. So I'm pretty sure, I mean, I guess I don't have definite proof, but I'm pretty sure that the first stronghold should be essentially right under this spot right here. So I don't know for sure, but definitely there is one easy way to check and that's gonna be just digging down. As soon as we see stone bricks, we're good. We know we have the stronghold. All that we're looking for right now is a simple confirmation. Is there a stronghold at this spot or not? Did something weird happen or what? I think it should be here still, right? Huh. Water. Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. A ravine with a mine shaft. 
kind of looks familiar. I feel like I remember the stronghold being with a mine shaft. The skeletons, because yes, yes, of course there would be skeletons here. That's very cool. Hey, look at this. Look at all of this dripstone right there. And even better, look at this back here. Where did you go? There you are. There you are. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. But I'm gonna need those. So stronghold generation, I, I'm pretty sure it didn't change at all in 1.17 and 1.18. We might just be slightly off of the stronghold. Looking for stone bricks like literally anywhere. I'm not seeing any though. Hmm, so step one I figured is follow the ravine. Hey, more dripstone. Definitely. Thank you. Uh, follow the ravine. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's exactly what we're looking for. Confirmation. Stronghold is right here. This spot. So I wrote the new coordinates down. Those are very, very important. Now it's back to the surface. But, uh, hey, uh, really quick, really quick. Iron. Uh, that's nice. It's not that I need more iron. It's not that I'm out. Like, no way. Full netherite. I could not, not be out of iron. No way. Uh, absolutely not. But, I mean, look at this. That's iron and coal. I even saw gold over there, too. All right, so that's all we needed. Now we know for sure that there's a stronghold somewhere around this spot right here. These coordinates are very important. Back to this chart. Let's say we have this stronghold right here. That's the one that we just found. Next step is to go over to this side of the circle, complete opposite side, and throw an eye of ender. Over here, we should be really far away from this one and hopefully be led over to that one or that one. Long story short, next step is to get far away from this spot right here, but stay relatively close to that 1,300 to 2,800 block range. If you're looking for a second stronghold, it would probably be a pretty safe assumption to say that you've already been to the end, you've opened up one stronghold, and maybe you have an elytra. If you have access to an elytra, that's a fox. <laughs> what? All right. Uh, well, you can just live there. Uh, if you have the elytra, then use the elytra. Go into the overworld, use your elytra, fly far away from that spot. I don't have an elytra, or using the elytra that I have is illegal. So sad. However, I do have a high-speed nether transport system that coincidentally takes me in the exact opposite direction of the stronghold. So that works. The stronghold tunnel is way back down this tunnel and off to that side. Perfectly. Look at this. Ah, the resource desert. Now, to be honest, I can't remember if I reset the portal on the overworld side over here. I kind of hope I didn't. It would be kind of cool and nice if I didn't. I didn't. This is perfect. Resource desert. It's been so long. You are flat. It's morning in the desert. I finally broke my streak. I slept. I figured running around at nighttime with phantoms, uh, yeah, it might be kind of annoying. Anyways, next step. The first stronghold that we found is at about negative 865, 1055. Now we need to look at the coordinates and throw an eye of ender. If the eye of ender goes in that direction, so negative 865, which is going to be uh, this way. Negative 865 is that way. If the eye of ender goes that way, and then 1055 is going to be this way. If the eye of ender ends up going this direction, it might be taking us back to the other stronghold, and we would have to go to a completely different spot. If it goes any other way, like any of these directions, then we're good. So eye of ender, don't go that way. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. This way. Okay, stay away from cactus, though. Stay away from cactus. Yes, nice save. Go me. And that's it. The Eye of Ender will always lock onto the closest stronghold at any given location, which apparently for me is going to be this direction, which I guarantee for sure is going to be a stronghold that we've never seen before. Now, right now, I'm actually outside of that range that I said to stay in between. What happened? Where is this taking me? Back to the chart one final time. So because of the coordinates that I'm at right now, that's going to mean I'm inside of this ring right here with the line inside of it. That's not a problem at all. We can still find a stronghold inside of this ring. It just might be a little bit farther. What's happening right now is either the Eye of Ender is leading me back inwards towards this first ring and a new stronghold, or it's leading me outwards to a further away stronghold. I don't really care about the distance, so I'm fine. I can go out to this further stronghold. It still works. We've done it. Basically, certainly, we've achieved it. From this point on, it's all normal stronghold hunting. All that I need to do is keep sailing, throw an eye of ender every once in a while, and find a stronghold eventually. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long, and because of the direction that I'm going, 100%, I'm going to a new stronghold, which is really, really nice. Land. Brand new land. I've never seen this before, and this is good-looking generation. The Savannah Hills. I've realized that 1.18 mountain generation looks so much much like the savannah hills like like and i'm not even talking shattered savannah i'm talking normal savannah biome i feel like there's this contrast with like the flat area and then like the big hills i feel like the hills are so big here 1.18 is the savannah basically so i have ender i just want to be safe and make sure i'm going the right way uh we're gonna go this way i have 22 at this point which okay i have 21 at this point which should be fine at most if i'm insanely unlucky i need 12 i have ender to open the portal hopefully i'm not that unlucky though normal stronghold hunting i've got an old episode for you uh, i'm gonna sound so different like i don't even know what's happening like i don't even know if it was me recording the old videos but old episode card on screen right now stronghold hunting i talk about the tips some strategies everything like that long story short you run a couple hundred blocks you throw an eye of ender hopefully the eye of ender keeps going in the same consistent direction 
Uh, you go a couple of- No, stop breaking. This is why you space out your Eye of Ender throws. I should have gone further. I, I need to keep just running for a little while. Throw your Eye of Ender, hopefully it doesn't break, and then eventually you find a stronghold. Now, knowing that whole stronghold generation ring thing, if you know that chart- Okay, this is the last time, I promise, I promise. If you know this chart, uh, these are the ranges, so keep in mind that they could be a negative number, negative 4,000, negative 5,000, but these are the approximate ranges. Like with my first stronghold, it could actually be outside of one of these rings, but usually it's pretty close. If you can keep that whole ring trick in mind when you're looking for a stronghold, especially if you're looking for the multiples of strongholds in your world, then you might be able to conserve a few Eye of Ender. However, if you've already found one, like I said, you could go to the end, and these things are basically infinite. You could just farm the Enderman in the end and have a bunch of them, so, you know, I don't know if it matters or not, but it is what it is. And Eye of Ender. Okay, this direction still. We're probably gonna have to go this way for a little while. Uh, stop breaking. Stop it. Why is it doing this today? Stop. Come on. Now, why was stronghold number one outside of the ring? Just by a little bit, but still outside. Well, I think the reason is the ocean. There's actually currently a bug with stronghold generation where sometimes it doesn't actually generate under the ocean. You could look it up on the bug tracker if you're interested in more. I think it's MC128762. And to be clear, it's not always like this. Like, you can definitely find a stronghold under the ocean, but that bug or another bug might be the reason why my stronghold was placed outside of the ring. I mean, it's that or the stronghold could just be really big and one part of the stronghold is inside of the ring. Now, every single stronghold will lead you to the same exact end. Once we find the stronghold and open it and go inside of the end, the Ender Dragon should still be gone. We're going to have to manually respawn the Ender Dragon. The strongholds all link together. Listen, don't make me regret this. Okay, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Maybe we're getting close. That's a different direction for sure. Or, or I just got uh, sidetracked. Uh, let's go this way for a little while. Cross the Dark Oak Forest into this plains. Do not, not break, break, I swear. swear. Okay, you go back this way. We're close. We're close. We're really, really close now. Come on. Why does this keep happening? I've never had such bad luck in my life. This is terrible. If it happens one more time, I unsolve the game forever. And this channel is over. I will delete the game, delete the channel, and live on the streets. Don't break. This way? Okay. We're safe. All right, so this is pretty much kind of like a middle ground in between uh, where the Eye of Ender was going this way and that way. So you know what? Uh, okay, fine. One more. One more. One more. Just because I don't want to waste time. Uh, yep, back over this way. We are certainly straight down from here, hopefully, maybe. And it doesn't break. That's good news. Good news today. Great news for everybody that likes my Minecraft channel because special announcement, I am not deleting the channel. It worked. All right, so you know how it is. Once we found this stronghold, shockingly, we have officially located the stronghold. Then the plan is to explore the stronghold figure out the loot situation, find the portal room, and then leave. I mean, as much as I like the stronghold, and as hard as I've grinded for it today, today is not the day to respawn the dragon. That is the next day. Now, my staircase is kind of crazy this time, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter at all. Nope. All right, so it's stronghold time. Right inside of this thing is a stronghold. We're in the middle of a room. So I have complete and total confidence in myself this time because armor, sword situation, this is going to be the easiest stronghold trip that I've ever been to. We're going to explore most of the strongholds, light it up, and find the good loot. The rooms with the with the loot chests inside of them, I think we can find golden apples. That's probably the only big thing that I'm looking for at this point. I mean, you can find like iron armor and stuff, but come on, come on, have you seen my armor? And look at all of this. We're gonna go back to the base with a stronghold located, second one, and so much iron, iron for days. Forget an iron farm. Big development. I found something cool. The library. Look at this place. I don't know if I should take all these bookshelves or not. Like, part of me says silk touch them. Like, right here, silk touch X. And you know, I'm probably not going to use the stronghold. I'm going to silk touch these bookshelves. They're mine now. They were never here. This is great. All that I need to do is figure out what I don't need. I have filled my inventory up again. Every single time I explore, I swear. Also, we need to keep in mind the loot. Uh, books. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't need to keep in mind the loot. I don't need the loot at all. However, these cobwebs do look quite enticing to me. I like me a good cobweb. I like me uh, many good cobwebs. I do really like cobwebs, and I love bookshelves. They're so expensive. Uh, until you find a stronghold. Then they're cheap. Wow, so look at this. We have a huge ravine here, actually. It's, like, completely cutting off the stronghold. Hopefully the portal room is good. Uh, and it goes all the way over there, too. Like, this is crazy. This is the most cut-up stronghold that I think I've ever seen. Go away, zombie. I don't care about you. You know, usually I'm all about preserving the stronghold, so this is like one of the first times that I'm ever actually going through a stronghold and just essentially tearing it all out. I feel kind of bad about leaving all this loot here because it is loot, but I, I just can't take it all. Like, I think I'll leave the chest here and leave the loot inside of it if I ever want the loot. Like next episode, I come back here and I take it. If I don't want the loot, then I just keep doing this and leaving it floating there at this spot forever.
that's the nice thing about recording in this world. If there's ever something that I want to find, uh, all that I need to do, and I've done it before, is show the coordinates on screen, and then I can go back to the episode and find the spot later. Pretty nice. It's a two-in-one, really. Zombie, what did I say? I told you. There's always a second chance when it comes to loot chests, though. Hey, multi-shot, that's cool. I feel bad about doing this to this room, surely. Like, it's decimated, doesn't exist anymore. But at the same time, I mean, four stacks of bookshelves? Yeah, uh, that reminds me that I don't feel bad about this at all. This is nice. You know what I also just remembered? Look at this right here. Perfectly compacted. Save one more space. All right, so next up, what I think I want to do is cross the ravine a little bit and check out the parts of the stronghold that I think are going to be isolated. I'm not sure for sure if it's completely isolated, but we'll check out these wings of the stronghold. Then we'll go back to the other side and keep exploring if we don't find what we're looking for over here. This is the craziest, most interesting stronghold generation that I think I've ever seen. I mean, I mean, I guess crazy might be the wrong kind of word to describe it. It's just interesting and weird, like all chopped up in here by this cave. I mean, it's different for sure, uh, different. So down here, I'm pretty sure, is a dead end. It wraps around a couple times, gets really broken up, but it's a dead end. I've finished this part of the stronghold, however, it does go up. Maybe when it goes up, it stays connected to the rest of the stronghold. And quite possibly, maybe, when I go up, I will find... Oh. Hey. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so that's a no-go, which means we'll just go ahead and go back over here and continue exploring the stronghold this way. Let's go back to the room where we started. This time, we'll go over this... Uh, this time, we'll go over this way and go through this hallway. Oh, that's the second library. Hey, four more stacks of bookshelves. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That's what I have to say about that. Four more stacks of bookshelves. Hmm. Good loot? No, more, more books. And good loot. Ah, not bad. That's not bad. Maybe the best loot here has all along been the bookshelves. Bookshelves are great. Surely I wouldn't take a bunch more time and fill up my inventory even more with bookshelves, right? <laughs> yeah, surely. At this point, if I find other loot that is really, really good, I don't know what I'm going to actually do with it because my inventory is basically all the way full. So we're going to have to figure that one out. But even more importantly, how about that stronghold room? What is going on with this stronghold? Look at this. This is so weird. This is like cursed. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that to me. Have you seen this armor? Have you seen this sword? Stop this. I still feel so good with this new armor and these new tools. Like this is the greatest thing to happen to me of all time, upgrading my tools. Why did nobody tell me to do this sooner? Is this it? Here it is. This is it. We found the room. So this is exactly what we needed. Oh, wow. We need all 12. That's terrible luck. That's like really, really bad. At least I have all these bookshelves, I guess. But yikes. That's disgusting. So there we go. We've done it. We've located the second stronghold portal of this world. And probably the last one. I mean, I don't know what I'll do in the future. I, I don't know. If I come up with an idea for a project, then maybe I'll, I'll find another one, but I think we should probably be good. Now, I'm not actually going to open the portal today. What I'm going to do, just in case so I don't forget these things, is just leave them inside of the stronghold right here, along with the crafting table and... No, I won't forget about it. I won't forget about it. So I'm going to leave the Eye of Ender that I need to actually open the portal right here inside of the chest next to the crafting table. Uh, this is the portal room right here, the coordinates, and now it's time to go back up to the surface so funny thing uh i don't actually have the coordinates to grim i think anywhere i don't think i've ever written them down i mean i'll be able to find the base uh, i could go back to world spawn and you know refine things that way but yeah i don't exactly know where grim is so <laughs> next up i guess is gonna be uh making a staircase up to the surface writing down these coordinates so i can get back here next episode and relocating spawn again maybe that's like a zero zero or something like that. I hear it. I hear the rain. It's definitely raining right now, I think. I'm pretty sure. I hear a horse, too. This is good news. This is good news. We're not under an ocean. I always... Yes. Yes, it is raining, and we're not under an ocean. I hate it when I come out of the ground, and I'm under an ocean. Look, it's the plains. We were just in this plains biome. There's chickens everywhere. There's eggs. It's crazy, and there's horses and trees. Wow. All right, all right. But all that cool stuff aside, it's time to make a tower. Write these coordinates down, and like I said, refine everything this is the marker of my stronghold right here two dirt pillars it's beautiful great momentous and then these are the coordinates four three 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 two six oh five nice and so after i finished cleaning everything up inside of the stronghold i went back up to the surface it was basically nighttime so i took a quick nap and then i started heading back home 
I didn't really know where to go to be honest, so I decided to spawn. Spawn was probably the best bet. I was pretty sure, like 98.5% sure that spawn is pretty close to 0, zero. I thought that once I got relatively close to spawn, I would start seeing things that I would recognize. And I mean, who knows, maybe, depending on where my base is actually located, maybe I would pass the base, and that would be super cool even less land for me to have to travel through. I realized that it was kind of funny of me to not bring a map, but then again, I also realized that right now, as it stands, my inventory is full all the way, so if I brought a map, uh, my inventory would be negative full, which doesn't sound good for the game, so so I guess that kind of worked out. Everything happens for a reason. Now, this walk was definitely not a short walk at all. It was a very, very long distance that I had to travel. However, I traveled it. While I was traveling home, I even found a couple cool things, like villages. It's pretty nice, but my inventory, being all the way full, meant I had to pass them up. However, even though I did pass the villages and all of the wonderful cats up, I did mark the coordinates down of the villages and things that I found. We'll come back later, once we can fly. Also, I did think it was kind of funny, ironic even, that this would be the episode where I forget to get a clean stack of food. Before every single episode, I try and remember to, to refill my food. 64 steaks start the episode off in a good way. And I forgot this one. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I had enough food, but still, funny. I found something, finally. And actually, I think I know exactly what it is. Look at all those leaves, still trying to decay. It's only been like, oh gosh, it's been like half a year now at this point. You're slow. So currently, we're inside of a plains biome, an old plains biome with a glitch generation. This is a chunk that I didn't reset from before 1.16 or before 1.17. And also, look at this, an interesting build over there, a quite ugly looking build if I do say so myself. Where could this be? And a bee, a pollinated bee, an escape artist. So there are some things over here, indeed, for sure, some things. They are things, but also... We're very close to somewhere. We're very close to somewhere specific. Civilization. Ah, yes, finally. Civilization. The jungle base. So it seems that the stronghold that I found was like way off over in that direction. And actually kind of conveniently, at least for today's episode, the jungle base is in between where the stronghold is and where Grimm is. From this point, I could definitely shortcut my way back home using the nether, but I've made it so far on foot. I might as well finish the job off. My boat sunk. Hmm. To get back home, all I need to do is sail out this way. I think this all connects to the ocean from this point, and then cross the ocean. Right on the other side of the ocean is a mountain, and right on the other side of that mountain is the prize, the Tent Empire. And also, you know what, while I'm here? Roses. I don't think I actually have any roses. Hey look, a sunken ruin portal. Crying obsidian, I've been looking for this stuff for like the longest time. I could definitely take this. What is this? Mmm, golden apple. Yes. You're gonna make me have to decide though, aren't you? Arrows? Fine, I don't need the bow for now. So if I went the right direction, we should basically be just about there now. If I go through the forest a little bit this way, I should find that giant rock, and I should find all the builds. Hopefully. Definitely. For sure. Grim. Tent Empire. We're back, finally. And you haven't changed a bit. Even more so than before, I am now a man of luxury. I have more bookshelves than I could have ever imagined. Look at this. Is that so many enchanting setups? Right there? Wait, oh no. It's a clean stack. Oh no, that's not good. That means I definitely left some on the ground. Uh-oh. I have a golden apple too. That is nice. Every single Minecraft to Java Edition world has 128 strongholds, if everything went correctly. To find the strongholds, space yourself out, like, a lot, and throw Eye of Ender. Keep going, keep going, find strongholds, write the coordinates down to one, then go really far away, and try it again. It's a very tedious, time-consuming process, but it can be done. Stronghold number two is now ours. Minecraft 1.17 Spyglass is also now ours. Rose is mine. The comments of the day is also ours. I recommend having an elytra and just brute combing gas with sharpness looting sword. It's the most effective, at least in my opinion. So that one was actually all about the gas hunting episode that was a couple episodes ago now. Definitely, if you have an elytra, you could rocket boost over to a gas and take it out with a sword with looting and get even more gas tiers. I was able to do that in the last episode. I mean, minus the elytra part, I was able to take a gas out with looting and uh, looting three, uh, four gas tiers. It was amazing. So yep, definitely an option. The spyglass is so cool. I still really wish there was a stand for it though. Like I could stand it up here and then walk up to it and just use it up here. Like that would be really, really cool. Anyways, that's it for episode 160, one plus six plus three, I meant. Yeah. In the next episode, something big is most likely going to happen. You'll have to wait till next episode to find out, though, so subscribe, turn notifications on, so you don't miss it. Leave a like for more Patron, Patron Gang, Gang, Patron, Patron Gang, 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 Fish in a Beanie, Schneebzy, and Pixie Phantom. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow with a new episode or a new video. Who knows? Hey, goodbye, everybody.